Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome to my channel. It is early 5.55 and we are just about to catch and my camera is like all wonky because it's really humid out. But we're just about to catch the first Animal Kingdom bus to head over to the park. It's right there, can you see it? Let's go, we're ready for a fun filled day. We're the first ones in line. Okay, so we are at Animal Kingdom now. It's about 6.30. Our bus was the first one here. And we are just waiting in line. The turnstile is open at 7. And then we will head over. Um, we have to go through the left side for early entry. You just have to scan one magic band of the people in your party. And everybody will be let through. And then we'll head over to Flight of Passage. Let's go! You're not a DVC member today? We're going. No, come on. Hello. Two. Thank you. That's so nice that they only make one person scan. It's too early to run. All right, we are in line for Flight of Passage. Fun fact, if you are 30th in this line or first, it's the same ride. Okay, um, first we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, <coughs> fly. <laughs> Help us out and move around a bit. Move around. Almost. Right? Yes, got it. Now, let's find you your avatar matches. All right, you've all been matched with avatars. Uh, ooh, looks like they're ready. You can all see me, so move a little if you can. Before we send you to the link chamber, let's watch this piece by Dr. Ogden who runs the program. Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a Banshee. To the Navi, connecting, feel like you're really there. Moments later, you'll begin your flight. A Navi guide will lead you out. You'll experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora, but you might also face some of its greatest challenges. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. 
As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sivak Ho, rise to the challenge. Good luck. Just got off of Flight of Passage. Now we're going over to Navi River Journey. Most likely will be a walk on, yes. Five minute wait. The park technically hasn't opened for regular guests yet. We have about two minutes. less than 5,000 black rhinos in existence. That's counting zoos and in the wild. Yeah, that's reflex. They're taking a nap underneath the water and it's time for them to get a breath of air. Automatically lift their head up, get that breath of air and lower their head right back down without even waking up. A Nile crocs grew 18 to 20 feet long, jaw strength more than 2,000 pounds per square inch. Can and will take down prey like zebra wildebeest. A lot of times you see them with their jaws open, it's just going to help them regulate their body temperature. Gorgeous animals. Let's go. Tip to tip. Brown and white antelope off left there are sable antelope ever charged up by a predator, drop to their knees and lower their five foot long horns to defend themselves. You can always tell the most dominant sable on the herd based off whoever has the darkest coat. Dun -dun. We're going to do a slow roll here. Oh. And you can see a young one and a young one and another young one. So I don't see a baby draft just yet. Could be high now. No, keep moving. Looks like the wildebeest have on the, been on the move here. Oh, it's a giraffe mean. activity. That pattern that they have, it just helps them blend in and disappear. The wildebeest are all over the place this morning. Elephants are social creatures. Females and their young stay together for almost an entire lifetime. Male elephants, on the other hand, when they're getting older, around 13 to 15, they're going to go off on their own or stick together with other male elephants in very loose herds. Have you ever seen any young elephants around? I don't like this gathering place for elephants. Try our luck over there. Good view. Look to the right there. When a flamingo is hatched, it's all gray. 
Let me see a few gray flamingos there. Those are young ones. It takes about one to two years for the gray feathers to go away, so they got a little bit of time. Let's see some of them are starting to get those pink colors in. If you were to look at their horns, you'd see they're different. They're made of compacted hair or keratin. The exact same thing as their fingernails and hair. Barely, if any, medicinal value whatsoever in a rhino's horn. You can see right here that rhinos are just gentle giants. It breaks all of the misconceptions. All of Africa. That's not a lot. The conflict that they're facing is a livestock conflict, going from livestock of farmers, farmers are getting retribution. Thankfully, with the help of conservation groups and using the idea called living walls to protect the livestock. In some areas, it's worked. That's some areas. We all have to work together to protect that to the left. <gasps> Whoa, cool. We really don't want to lose one of the icons of Africa for forever. Gorgeous view of him right there. This is kind of a good spot before the sun kind of gets on our eyes. He's just sitting there hanging out. He's like, hello, you want to take a picture? Now, female lions will do the majority of the hunting for their pride. They're pack hunters. They love to work in or take down the prey. While the male lion, if there are no cubs, he can help out with the hunting. But if there are cubs, he has to stay back and protect them and the territory. Absolutely crucial for the survival of the pride. Ostriches don't like to leave the, young, leave the eggs alone too long. And don't worry about the eggs though, they're incredibly strong. Human adult male can sit on an ostrich egg nest and they wouldn't break. Now with the gate up ahead means that we're making our way back to the board station. I'll be dropping you off at. As we've been going along, we got to see a lot of amazing animals. We got to talk about the conservation work for elephants. We've done both Pandora rides, safari, and now we're going to head over to a dinosaur. Everest is actually down right now, or we would go to Everest first and then dinosaur, but heading to dinosaur. Ooh, look at the tree. So pretty. <laughs> and then after dinosaur, we're gonna go get some Starbucks, and then we will hopefully make the 10 o'clock showing of Lion King. And Kite Tales is brand new, I mean, a couple months now, but we haven't been able to see it yet, so that is our goal after this. Going on dinosaur. Fun fact. I hate this ride. <laughs> but we go on it. Okay, now let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Skyracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning. Meteor shower in range. Just little one. Oleoramus. Hadrosaur. Raptor. So around the parks for the 50th, they have these golden statues. And here is Dory and Nemo. So cute. who travel with Simba and his friends throughout the land with this celebration. Time for introductions. My name is Kiyume and I am the leader of our group. Kiyume is Swahili for masculine and strong. What do you think? <laughs> Listen. Can make it. We can't have this on 
celebration of that too. Don't worry, friends. You'll get your time in the spotlight. Oh, I just can't wait to be Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, again, so one last thing that sound super awesome, a bird time in Australia. <laughs> and, and the animal sounds, they're awesome. But most of what you learn is how to make human sounds. She does this one thing when people clap. If you clap, she might do it. Do you want to try? <laughs> That was just silly and weird and I love it. Um, but this last thing that she does is super amazing and I'm not even going to talk about it, I'm just going to let her do it. Alright, are you ready? Let's see.
Wanted done and more. We got to see Kite Tales for the first time. Yeah, that was a banger. Thrilling, thrilling. It actually go made again me... before I die. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a I think there's like a Lion King show, and then we saw the Jungle Book one. So I would want to see the Lion King one again. I'm not sure like how they switch those off, but what was your favorite part of the day? Um, the literal zero weight to flight of passage. That was pretty cool. We didn't, like we walked straight in, they needed a group of two, we jumped in, Dr. Ogden needed our help. We rode those banshees and it was amazing. My favorite part was definitely the safari. We saw tons of fun animals. We finally saw elephants. We haven't seen them in a while, so that was fun. But yeah, and the baby rhino was really cute. I don't know if I got it on video because I was like really focused on watching the baby rhino. But it was playing with its mom. It was. It was so cute. It was adorable. Anyways, we're going to head back to the resort, take a nap, head to studios later tonight. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will see you real soon. Bye. Jumbo.